at Crossbody Unity, we're trying to get our foot inside the door. This is not religious, right? Because we're imperfect evermore. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't want, know what will happen tonight. But we don't want to be caught on the final day thinking that we were always right. And Jesus would say, you're wrong. Out from me. Depart from me. Enter into the opposite of the joy of the Lord. <laughs> So we want to have fun with this, but we don't want to make it all about funding. In fact, that's been our big thing, our minus, is that we just have purposely slipped back because we didn't want to get caught up in that showbiz, the, the, you know, the, the purposeful packaging. We want it to, to be God. There is a point about being professional. We wor are working on that now slowly, but the revelation we've had is to not be showy, not be ostentatious, don't be flagrant, don't be the prosperity movement revisited. And I'm not talking against word of faith at all. I'm here. I, I survive by living every day with the joy of the Lord, the courage of the Lord, by good mama and daddy, and also the principles I learned from the 80s movements, you know, including worship, including some of this prophecy, but really the Bible and joy of the Lord keeping my peace not to be worried i mean i can go back to kenneth hagan senior some of these original teachings before it got misshapen morphed twisted added to taken away into big shotism so we're for it but would you lift this up lift this up because we are not we have not gone after funding we've been keeping our peace and saying all right i want to know how everybody lives you know because we don't represent just americans we don't just represent one race or one style. We're trying to say, you know, when I went through the abasing, which is a prophetic and apostle thing, it was to say, all right, I know how to live in want and be contented. I know how to live in abounding and be contented. And we were in want. The thing was in want, we didn't want dysfunction on top of the being in want. We have sowed our seed. We are not poor me, and I never have a poverty spirit unless I'm with some of these baggage-laden, pr presumptuous, evil-eye Christians <laughs> who've got it all. And uh, uh, the gentrified, I don't know what this is, offices. But that's their choice. I just had to realize this is God showing me how they are projecting accusation, rejection, on the new visitor of the Hebrews 10, 25. That's all we're learning. So we forgave him, but we have to drop out. It is negative faith. It is pulling against. So we need God to show us funding, methods, tent making, whatever. It's just...